Hi, hello and welcome everybody. Today we have a tutorial and this tutorial is to show you how to add custom music into your Grand Theft Auto 3 Definitive Edition. This requires several steps, so there are also several prerequisites, requirements that you have to meet before you proceed with this. First things first, you have to install the Unreal Engine version 4.26. This one is 4.26.2 So I recommend that you install this version Do not install the 4.27 version I recommend that for this purpose, for this tutorial, you use 4.26.2 Which is pretty good, especially good for this tutorial purposes You can get the Unreal Engine 4.26 from the Epic Games Store It is all for free, provided you have an Epic Games Store account Also free the next thing you are going to need is U-Model, which is a model and texture extractor for um, games which are built on the Unreal Engine. This application is used to read um, contents inside the pack folder. Usually games in, that are made in Unreal Engine, they come with files packed into a folder called .pak, which is pack. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to open, take a look at what is inside our GTA 3's data files. Uh, you can find the data files over here. Going to GTA 3 Definitive Edition, Game Phase, Content, Packs. These are the original files. They are all located in this file right here. This is like a zip file, similar to a zip file. However, you cannot open it because it is encrypted. So for Opening this file, you will need to use U-Model, which you can download from libertycd.net. I will leave a link in the description for all the required downloads. The third application that you will need is Unreal Pack. It is in the not in English language, however, you can convert it to English. Right here, you can set it to English and there you go. Um, and you just download it like this. Press download here. I already have it, so I don't need to download it, but just download it here. And once you have downloaded it, you copy it to a specified folder. The third and last, for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to uh, pack our audio files and we will use Unreal Pack to put them into one format which is uh, compatible with the Unreal Engine game files. Without further ado, let's start our modding. Now, I highly recommend that you put all your um, tools which are needed for the modding process inside one folder. For example, I've created a folder called GDADE Modding Utilities, and this is where I keep the U model and the Unreal Pack. You can give them any names, extract them to this folder. Pretty much, that's what you gotta do. This makes things a lot easier. This is just a recommended step. You don't really have to follow this if you don't want to. But I really recommend doing this because this makes life a lot easier. First things first, we are going to need an audio file with the OGG format because this format is the one which is used in the GTA 3 Definitive Edition. We have to find a suitable audio file. For example, I already have some of these. For example, I have plus underscore one because uh, I'm going to modify the double clef FM so I have this file for now we have to open the Unreal Engine and we go to press new project go to project and new project then you go to games press next and then just select blank because we are not going to create a game today we are just going to modify some audio files actually we are just going to create it uh, uh, and um, leave it like this. Uh, if this one, if this one is in with starter content, change it to no starter content because we don't need any additional stuff. And then put a suitable name for the, your project. I put it in the D project Unreal Engine. Uh, the name of the project for me, I just put it custom radio tutorial. Uh, yeah, something like that. Custom radio tutorial. Simple enough. And we're creating the project right now. A very basic Unreal Engine project. We don't need all of these because of what 
Uh, this tutorial purpose is not to create a game, but we are going to use Unreal Engine to convert our OGG audio files into the Unreal asset. This one, we just select all of them and then press delete on your keyboard and press yes all and save current just save it as a new map it doesn't matter this one is uh, just uh, save all and just press save all and then we create a new folder and just put there uh, some any names not needed oh not needed because uh, we don't really need them this is yeah, pretty random files. It's just the way it is for now. Move here, okay. And now, since we have those uh, files, I already created my own uh, OGG files, which I converted from MP3. I used the Audacity to convert these files. This is just a simple audio file. Okay, uh, we are just going to convert uh, this one file. I'm gonna drag it here. Yeah. And there we are, we already have it. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's that's good. Now let's press save all. We don't want anything bad to happen. We don't want if for example if the engine crash or something then we might lose our data. So it's recommended to always press save all. Anyways, next thing we gotta do is um right here you click on it, double click, and then it opens this thing, which is like the properties of the audio. Make sure that, um, like here, you go to playback streaming and you open this, uh, expand it, and then when you go to force, there is a force streaming option. You click it, uh, make it true, tick it, and the same thing goes for seekable. And voila, you already have this one. That is all we gotta do. Let's close it, and now we press save all again, just for safety purposes. Um, Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. And now we are going to highlight this thing. We press Ctrl and left click, and then we are going to go go to file and cook content for Windows. Okay, cooking content for Windows, and this might take a while if you are doing this for the first time. So, if you are co cooking for the first time, it is going to take a long time. But that is not actually but if you have done it before I have done that only previously so that is why this will not take a long time at all and we are done because this is our third time doing it so we have uh, completed the thing cooking has been completed that means that the audio file has been converted into a an unreal asset in order to find the the audio files that have been converted you have to go to where the location of your project for example i put it in d project unreal engine and this now our project name is custom radio tutorial open it go to saved and then go to cooked and windows no editor of course and go to this one <laughs> custom radio tutorial and content and here we are these three audio files these are the ones that you these are the converted audio files so what you have to do now is you copy this to to a folder inside the unreal pack folder for example see what i do right here the copy and then since i've created the folder it makes a lot of things a lot easier and this is the unreal pack and i create a folder for this purpose i've created a new folder which is called um custom Radio tutorial, custom radio tutorial, and okay. For this one, we have to follow a certain naming convention, and that is, we have to create individual folders. Like, uh, it has to be something like uh, game face, content, GDA three, audio streams, radio streams, double clef. Uh, for example, I want to modify double clef FM. I'm just going to copy this game face thing. Yeah, first time you got to create the thing uh, from scratch. But for now, I just I just copy it because I already have a copy. So the format I will put in the description of the video, so that is easier to follow. It's game face content, DJ three audio streams, radio streams, and then is the name of the radio. 
okay if you want to change to another uh, if you want to change another radio station this is what you gotta do you gotta go through U model and look at the name of the radio folder I will show you right now here we got U model we run this one uh, path to game files let's select the location it is uh, somewhere around here game face content pack okay here we go and yeah uh, highlight this take it and there you go you, you find uh, a number of folders a lot of them I don't even know what they are about but okay right here you can find um, like the format you have to follow is like just now, the one just now that I mentioned so you have to open the GDA3 since we are going to mod the audio we go to audio and then we go to streams and radio streams this this was a format that I followed although there there is like a uh, before the name GDA3 there was like the content folder but yeah that is just just a naming convention that we have to follow to, to modify that and, and then if you look here these are the list of the radios I just put the name double clef for example check this out uh, this is my previous radio these game face content it is like game face content and then follow this format GDA3 audio streams radio streams and double clef is because I'm going to mod this one I'm going to replace the class 1 file uh, if you want to modify something else like chatterbox uh, you just you know change it in you know you rename your audio file into chat underscore one for example but you don't need to write the dot uh, us this one is handled by the unreal engine later they will convert your ogg into these uh, various uh, formats and you gotta copy all of them into your uh, into a folder you have to create a folder and for example we create this custom radio tutorial folder and since we have done this thing before but if you are doing it for the first time create it game face content you did read audio stream radio streams double clap okay this one's uh, from the previous project I'm going to delete this and we are going to copy the, the one that we just did Unreal Engine, Custom Radio Tutorial, Save, Look, Minus No Editor, Custom Radio Tutorial, Contents. This one, this uh, only a few files, just copy and paste it here. The others, you just ignore them because they are not necessary at all. Okay, now we have these things. Let's go back to our main folder. Okay, this one is Custom Radio Tutorial. Eh? This is our folder. We are following the correct naming conventions. Yep, that is correct. Just like this one, double clef, the same name. You, it's better to double check if you're not sure. Uh, okay, we are gonna cancel and just close that one. We don't need that anymore. Um, now, what we gotta do is we drag this one into this one. Unreal Pack with Compression .pat. It take a short time. Okay, press any key. It's done already, and here it is. This is our pack archive and what we have to do now is rename it and give it a number in front for example just put in 500 because it's a easy to remember number and then custom to our tutorial and put an underscore and put a capital P after that and yeah keep the naming like this because this will make sure that this data uh, folder this pack is considered like a patch for the game although it is not really a patch it's just a mod but it will be treated as such so that it is um it is treated as a patch or a mod something like that i don't know how to explain it but anyways uh, let's copy this one and and then we go back to gda3 definitive edition folder game face content packs and um, if you haven't already you have to create a folder called um, mods like uh, is like this there's like an assign and then mods like that and then what you have to do is paste it in here okay and that is the end once you start the game you'll be able to hear the radio and if it doesn't work you can 
ask questions, ask us any questions if, if it either works or doesn't work. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comment section and uh, I hope that you find this useful. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day and a happy new year everybody. Was magnificent. A very emotional piece. Molto adagio.